I'm always telling you guys, keep on keeping on, no matter what, one day at a time. And I won't lie, getting up and heading to Tyson Wells, knowing that it was going to be sprinkling today and off and on at least, and that I didn't have my canopy and that it was going to be muddy, made it challenging to look forward to the day. But you just saw the glorious sunset that we got to enjoy as we left camp. And I think that's a lesson in life. The sun always rises and we always just need to keep on keeping on. It was a lesson I relearned today and I had to process to get through to gratitude and get a new look on myself and my day going forward. I ended up buying a new carpet to put at my booth. It kind of gave the booth and me a lift so that I felt like it looked pretty again and that it was a comfortable place for people to come and see my booth. That's another lesson that there is always something to be grateful for. There's always going to be something that old saying, it's always darkest before dawn. And today was a rainy day off and on and we had to take the books up and down, up and down. But we met lots of wonderful people and had a great day and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you in this video. Thank you for being on this journey with me. Aww. Today is your what? Three year anniversary. Oh, he's hi. A rescue, so he's about 12 years old, as far as I know. This is Frugal RV Gal, and she used to raise birds. Really? I had a uh, greenway macaw oh, for good. over 30 years. Wow, yeah, I, I met him. Say, what is he? He's, he's a, a military. Military. Car. Yeah, I met him three years ago today at the hot spring just down the road. Yeah. Um, some lady there that had brought him there found him being abused in a tattoo shop 12 years oh. ago. So that's the only history I know. But he's such, look at his one little yellow feather on his arm. Oh. He's got he a little, says, that's my little, little yeah, little my little personality. More. Yeah. Yeah. He's sweet. He says, I'm grooming. It's time yeah. to groom. He's comfortable if he's doing that right yeah. now. Well, we got set up by 1020. Brought the rug out front since we lost the canopy so at least that sets it off and people can stand on that instead of the wet dirt and then i went and bought a cocopelli rug for us to walk back and forth on and i will replace mine that i've had that's back at camp for about three years now so two new rugs for me this year you guys cindy is my uh the first uh what would you say? I don't want to call you customer, reader that has bought my book of the day. I guess you are a customer, but yeah. I, it feels more than that when somebody buys my book. So thank you. And Cindy, tell everybody what state you're from. I am from Montana and oh, I travel yeah. during the winter. I'm four months on the road and four months is out of the year. Yeah. And I love it just like you do. Good. And uh, you try, I take it because she saw Bandit's picture on the yeah. cover of my book and you said we got to have our animals. So what kind of animals do you have? I did, unfortunately. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. I had to put him down a week before we left. Okay, let's do that one over. Um, it's okay. Um, um, he was a okay. orange uh, Garfield cat. Cat. Uh, I had him for 14 years, Leo. Leo. Y'all give her some love in the comments below. We all know what that's like, and mm -hmm. it's heartbreaking. Yeah, it was. So. Diabetes, so. Yeah. But I plan on getting another one when I get home. Okay. Maybe two. <laughs> All right. Well, you've got my email on my card. Maybe send me a picture. I'd love to see what you what what you end up with. And okay. Because that's a that's a big step. My two senior dogs. You'll you'll read about it in my book. Mm -hmm. But they died on the road in in 2017, and they'd been with me for years and years and years. And it took me two years before I got banded. So I get I get it. We all get it. Yep. It's Let's, hard to replace someone that you love. and It is. It is. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for meeting me. Oh, my me. gosh. I'll take the hug off the camera, but thank you. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> Everybody, I am here with Glennis from South Africa. Is that correct? That's correct. And uh, she is here with her daughter. Yes. And introduce Hi. yourself. Your first and name. It's Dawn here and my friend Sue. 
Yeah. Can you, I hope y'all got Sue. I'll put a picture in if y'all did it. <laughs> Sue bought my book, How Being a Nomad Saved My Life, the other day. Yes. And she came back with her friends today. And Glennis was just telling me. Glennis, may I share with them what you said about your age? You tell them. Tell them, <laughs> tell them what you said about your age. Well, I am 95 now. But I have written an autobiography of my life up to a certain age. And, um, but on the old typewriter, you know, the old typewriter yeah. in those days. With the ribbon. <laughs> I, I started that way. Trust me, I know. And so you said you are how old a while ago? You said you're five months. She's, how old are you, Mom? I'm 95. In five months and how many days? five years? Five years, I'll be 100. Yeah. She, she said, I'm five months and five years from 100. <laughs> Sue Pace. Sue. Sue. And Dawn. And Glennis. Glennis. And Deborah. And Deborah. <laughs> we all here are having a great time. Keep, keep on keeping keep on. on. You pretty? Hi. What you doing? What's under there? That's Willow. What you doing? You're pretty. <laughs> You're pretty. Yes, you are. You stay here? We'll see. <laughs> yeah. When mama leaves, she'll go. <laughs> there you go. So it's a little bit of a slow day because of, um, probably because of the weather. And uh, it's supposed to rain off and on. We've got everything ready to throw my books in a tub, throw the tarp um, over the tables if we need to. So we're ready to do a mad dash, but I thought I'd just come see what the rest of the vendors are doing and there's a lot still not open. Pretty slow compared to how it usually is. It'll pick up. We'll go down this back way. Cut through the alley. Somebody didn't show up today here. Look at that rain cloud. You can tell the rain, the wind is blowing right into me. See down here, we got some down there that didn't open, but down toward the tent, you can tell when you get closer to the big tent and there's more and more people of course right now it's close to noon and I'm walking down here toward the food court usually this is packed I'm filming this on Tuesday by Wednesday I'm sure it'll pick back up and we'll just have throngs and throngs of people again. What's for lunch today, Jana? Chicken salad sandwich. Woohoo! Again, it's a repeat. I don't care, it's so good. So good, so good. Thank you, dear. And, and, oh. I just met Mary and her husband, Don, went down the lane, but they are from British Columbia. And they, she got my book, uh, Being a Nomad and the Journey Begins. And uh, you said that y'all travel about, six, you get to come down here for six months. Yeah, so tell them how many animals you're traveling with. Well, we have five adult dogs and uh -huh. one had a puppy, so we have nine extra. Oh my gosh. <laughs> But uh, they're all spoken for. They're going to really good homes. Oh, that's so wonderful. And then we travel with four horses and one mule. Four horses and a mule. <laughs> that is just awesome. And you are you said you're a breeder. In, uh, I used to breed, but I train now. You yeah, train yeah. horses. Yeah. How? I mean, you just never know who you're going to meet at these <laughs> venues. And it's just such a treat. Yeah, it was great meeting you too. Yeah, yeah, they just walked up and we started talking and chatting. And I just feel like I've met an old friend. So thank yeah, you. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much, Marion. So nice to meet you. 